I'm Tanya from Elite Pilates Teacher Training here in Devon and um, what beautiful weather we have. So I've just finished teaching a class and I thought I'd do a really quick video for you because um, often I get asked questions from new teachers, um, it's mostly new teachers and even some of the older teachers that I know is do I do lesson planning? You know, do I plan my lesson um, beforehand? So the short answer is no, I don't do lesson planning. Um, but in my head, I kind of know what I want to achieve out of that lesson. Uh, because over the years, what I've experienced is sometimes you have a lesson planned and you walk into the class and everybody um, is in a different mood to what you're in, or perhaps you've got a really big shoulder exercise or a class planned and they walk in and go, oh, I've done gardening, my shoulders are killing me. And there's no way that they're gonna get through what I've planned. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I actually stopped doing a physical lesson plan. So, uh, so now I'll think, okay, so in today's class, what I want to achieve is I want to get some back extensions in, especially after the weekend when people have likely to be sitting quite a bit. Um, or maybe I'm going to have an abdominal day or a bum day or something like that. So I tend to put the class around, um, plan it around that. Um, other times I might think actually I want to work on the classical a little bit so I might pick one of the classical exercises so let's say for example I'm going to pick um, like teaser or open leg rocker or something like that and I think well what do I need to do with that body to prepare that body to be able to get into the best teaser that they can get into so I might do some hip flexor work some hamstring stretching if I was going to do like an um, open leg rocker, I would do some running like a ball. So I kind of know the exercises that I want to do to get the body into um, the freer and loose state that I can get it into and most stretched so that when it comes into that, um, the parts of the body that needs to be working are working. So that's kind of how I work around my lessons. Um, in relation to yoga, um, it's completely different for me for yoga. It's, I just, I cannot do a lesson plan. Um, and when I do a lesson plan, I find that I spend more time looking at my notes than being with the class. So again, I have an idea in my head of, right, so this is the peak pose. I want to get into a crane as my peak pose. How do I work it back? What exercises will I need to include into that class? Or perhaps... I might do a yin class with them. Because sometimes, again, I'll have this huge vinyasa plant and I get in, they've had an awful day at work, they're knackered, they're stressed, and the last thing I need to do is get that um, sympathetic nervous system fired up again. I need to bring it back down. So I might think, okay, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give them a yin class. It's, um, and then also focus because then they tend to get stressed we're quite rounded and we close up a little bit so I might say right, we're going to do yin but we're going to do a lot of chest opening and just bringing that sympathetic nervous system back down into parasympathetic so I tend not to stick to a lesson plan because I prefer to teach intuitively so what is happening with my class in front of me and how can I best serve them so saying that what I will say is that when you're a new teacher there's so much to think about. And for the first year of teaching, I did have lesson plans. And it's much easier with Pilates to do a lesson plan than with yoga. Uh, for me personally, you know, Pilates, you just write the names of the exercises down, whereas yoga is a bit, I find a bit more challenging. So for the first year of teaching, I did write lesson plans. And then what I would do is I might, I reduced it to maybe only five exercises and I wanted to start filling in the gaps more intuitively with the class. And then as I work, so it wasn't a case of one day I just stopped using, uh, teaching lesson plans. I mean, I have it all written down. Um, so after the class, I might make a quick note as what I did in that class. And through the week, I tend to keep the same foundation of the class, but the fillers I might change just because we have clients that come to four or five classes a week and they don't want to get bored. So I might have the foundation of the class is the same, but the little bits in between are different. Um, so I hope that has helped. Um, 
you know, <laughs> I still feel really guilty when I haven't actually written a lesson plan and I've been teaching for what, seven years now or whatever it is. So, but after the class, I'm like, you know, that was the right thing for me because I have tried to, and I do still sometimes have a little notebook for yoga maybe with just a few notes that I was going to do in, and I still find that I'm like, what am I writing now? Or, and I get lost. So, um, I tend to just sit and think about the class or I might go through some vinyasa or some yoga stuff that I'm going to do in the class. Uh, I might go through it physically as opposed to just writing it down. So I hope that helps um, in relation to lesson planning and there's so many different ways you can write a lesson uh, which we go through on the teacher training with our clients. Um, I don't always stick to the traditional ways of planning a lesson because I try and mix and match so i do layering i've introduced the peak pose into the pilates um, classes as well um, i might do body focus and then include layering into it and i might even have a, um, a peak pose in that focus so there's one way i can do it there's lots of different ways i can do it so i hope that helps if you've got any questions about layer um, lesson planning or anything like that or well, i'd be interested to know what you do do you lesson plan are you trying to move away from it how have you found it with your classes um you know do you teach intu intuitively so put the comments below and don't forget we have a youtube channel as well so pop onto our youtube channel and subscribe and then you'll get notifications when we add more videos so lots of love and bye